Imagine if we did a whole episode just this close. Look at it. Welcome to oh, In Your Face Horror! The Gravity Edition! Oh. In Your Face Horror. In Your Face in your, in your Face Horror. In Your Face Horror. Last week's answer for noms was... I know, I know what you, what you did, did last, last summer. summer. All week this week, we've been seeing things on television, seeing movies, seeing video games, a bunch of different things about space. Space! space. So what did we do? We decided to go and see the movie Gravity. Ding! Now, I'm sure you guys have all heard of this. It's got Sandra Bullock and George Clooney in it, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's pretty much it. The whole movie is, you know, Sandra Bullock and George Clooney floating, floating around in space. in space. The movie? is honestly exactly what it sounds like. I would yep. love to give you more of a synopsis, but that's it. They're trapped in space. They need to find a way home. Are they gonna find a way home? Who knows? We've seen this whole plot line in Lost in Space. We've seen it, what was the other movie? 2001 A Space Odyssey was yep. the other one I thought first thought of when I saw this. Like we've, we've seen this all already. When I went into the movie, I was really, really hoping that Sandra Bullock would go through a wormhole and we'd see a whole nother dimension. <laughs> honestly, it wasn't a terrible movie. I will, I mean, I will say it's very well made. The graphics, oh, I thought I was really in space. It was phenomenal looking. You really gotta like space to go see this movie because there's just so much floating and being in your, I mean, it's a little psychological because, you know, you're trapped inside your brain with nothing, no sound, just you and space. So I can see how that'd be kind of creepy, but honestly, as far as horror suspense movies go, it was kind of... So the guy who had the hole through his face? He got a piece it. of satellite shrapnel like through his face. Like you could look, like, pick him up and look straight through his mm -hmm. face. He was all gray from all the, the lack of oxygen. It was pretty brutal. Oh, and for all you guys out there who are kind of like, I don't want to see it, hang in there. There is, there is Sandra Bullock in Spankies towards the end of the movie. Hang in there, men. It gets better. I know it's a lot of space, but, but, it gets better, I promise. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie! What, what, what? What's better than floating away into space just to await your death? I don't know. Floating away into space to await your death with George Clooney. Oh, oh, oh! This is space. I'm in space. We made it. Honestly, it wasn't a bad movie. It was okay made, but there wasn't enough content to really keep me interactive. I kind of almost fell asleep for the first, like, hour into it. So I'm gonna be conservative and I'm gonna give it three eggs. I mean, it, was, it wasn't bad. I thought the acting was really good, if that's a plus, but just the whole in space just was really, really boring. I typically really enjoy space movies. Um, they have to have a little bit more plot line than Gravity did. I mean, Christ, the whole movie, Sandra Bullock, something goes wrong, she floats away, someone saves her, something else goes wrong, she floats away, someone saves her, something else goes wrong, she floats away, someone saves her, <laughs> Someone dies, someone else dies, she returns to home. Like, that's not a movie to me. That's a, rep a repetitive piece of shit, honestly. I'm gonna have to go ahead and give this movie one egg. Sorry, Sandra, but that's all you're getting. And hey guys, this is the first movie that's ever received one egg on In Your Face Horror. True. Yay! Over to Nam! I'm Nam, name, power, movie, segment. You must really like Halloween. You mean Sam Hain? What? Sam Hain, also known as Oh Hallows Eve, also known as Halloween. Predating Christianity, the holiday was celebrated on the one night between autumn and winter when the barrier between the living and the dead was thinnest and often involved rituals including human sacrifice. I like your eye patch. Oh. Thank you for watching In Your Face Horror. Tube in in two weeks for something. Spignominal! Episode 20 is over! Peace! Yeah. This is in your face fire. In your in your in your face in your face fire. Fuck I said best friend with you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. If you really like what's happening over here, I want you to make sure to check out what's going on over here. And maybe while you're clicking in that space area, click over there. And if you really like space, I'm thinking you should just go ahead and subscribe because this channel is all about space like never. I'm in space. You wanna twerk with me? I don't wanna twerk. I can't. I can't twerk. You can't. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like I'm fucking something. <laughs> uh, I'm sitting on a bunch of sticks. There's a stick in my bum. Huh? Uh.
YouTubers, youpers. Stop jerking the plants <laughs> off. You're making it uncomfortable. I've got the eye of the tiger, the fire. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> Hey guys, we forgot to mention that we're both really excited for this project coming up. It's called Camp Dakota. Ding, and, and it's put on by some of our favorite YouTubers. We've got Mamie Hart, Hannah Hart, and Daily Grace. Girls, we're really excited for this movie. Congratulations. Yep, I hope it does really well. We'll be one of the first to pick it up. Yep. If you want to know what we're talking about, if you already don't know, check out chill.com slash camp. Ding! Thanks for supporting it, guys. Bye!